Hey guys, this is Dracon with another Calibria Guardians video, Crystal Guardians video. Let's go ahead and just roll some runes. Uh, I'll waste my Caliente to show you guys what we can get done. Maybe we can get some decent substats. I don't have anything amazing. I'm just going to look for any of the 6 star runes I've got. Maybe some of the 5 stars I have if they're legendary. Check out my heroes. Make sure that they've got what they need to be successful. So this nine, plus 9 rune, we're going to go ahead and enhance that. Because my C10 runs are not as consistent as I want them to be. If I can increase these a the HP and speed defense on everybody, increase our survivability. We're just going to take everything to plus 12. So not a terrible rune. I'm sure these were white when I started. Uh, this one, as you can see, it's got a flat attack stat. It's got a flat defense stat. And then resistance. Eh, we're not going to take that flat uh, anywhere beyond plus 9. So we'll come down here with a type. We'll click Agile. Let's see what we have to choose from. All right, so we got some hit percentage. That'd be great for his AOB attack break. Resistance, I'm not worried about. Flat attack is garbage. Crit rate, and mm. But it is better than what he currently has equipped, and it's already plus 12. Let's see, we've got more blue runes. Crit rate speed. I like the speed. Crit rate HP. All right, so if we had a speed HP percentage, I would definitely stick that in there. But for now, we're just going to go with hit percentage. So we'll equip that one. We're moving on to the next rune. This is a HP% 5-star Swift rune. He's got hit percentage on it, defense, attack, and speed. This was definitely a white rune when we started. I don't have a 6-star rune to replace it with. I've got a 3-star rune I can sell. Just to clean the box up a little bit as we go. This green rune. Yep, it's got flat stats. So I like to sell runes as I go. You know, when I'm farming Colossus, I collect all 5-star runes, hoping for legendaries. If they're not legendary, I typically sell them. Uh, so this one, yeah, doesn't make sense to me to keep this. That's a swift crit rate rune, but it does have an attack stat, and it's purple. Let's let's and let's roll it and see what happens. Because I'm, I'm the reason I'm rolling this one is I really don't have a lot of crit rate runes for uh, slot four. Ah, of course it goes into HP. I can maybe put this on my paladin. Uh, okay, see, flat HP, we're not even going to worry about it. We're going to sell this one. Not worth it. And this other 5-star rune, speed, crit rate, and crit damage percent. That might actually turn out halfway decent. I, I doubt it. It's a blue rune. Probably should just sell it, but I'll hang on to it to see if I need to complete a set. Moving right along, we have a HP percent, attack percent, defense percent. Stats are kind of all over the place, right? This isn't really a... I'd say this is a great tank rune, right? Because you have an attack on it, it's not bad. It'd be better if it was speed or resistance. If we were trying to build a full-on tank. We've got this plus 12 rune. Uh, crit damage, HP, flat attack, resistance. So not better. We don't have any 6-star runes to slide into the slot. So I'm just going to go ahead and enhance what we have there. What we want is HP. Like, if I could just roll everything to HP, it'd be great. But I have a feeling this was a white rune. So, yeah, plus nine, three subs. We're going to get another substat. If we get another substat, I would prefer it to be speed. And we get flat HP, which is fine. I, I can handle that because he heals based off of his HP percentage. We have a plus 15 five star speed rune in his slot two. It's got flat HP, flat attack, so not good. It's got a very low attack percentage, very low uh, resistance rolls. We do not have a six star agile rune to stick in there, but we're gonna see if we have anything better. So we got a blue crit damage HP. So I guess we can take this rune, we'll roll it up, see if it all goes into the... Oh, wait, that's a percentage. Wrong rune. Right, so if this one goes all into HP, then we'll swap it out. That way he can heal for more every time that he moves. All right, we got a huge roll on HP. See if we can't do it again. Yep, sweet. Both rolls went to HP, so this is going to be the new rune that we sub in. Right, so we know we can't get perfect runes yet. We know we're not uh, doing C10 fast enough or consistently enough. So we're looking for every little increase we can. That flat defense, that's heartbreaking. 
could have used, uh, you know, defense percentage. But it's still better than the rune that's already in that slot, so we're just going to go ahead and swap them out. I'm going to take this one all the way up to plus 15. It doesn't, it's really not worth it, but I've got the Caliente to do it. Uh, a lot of people have asked me, too, in comments on my other videos and in my guild and in chat how I have so much Caliente all the time. It's because I do the times two growth packs and because I sell almost every single rune I get. I sell all my runes from Blackpool. Uh, if you guys pay attention, some of them are sell for five to 7,000, even from uh, stage one. It just depends on the color of the rune that drops. See, and this is going up to plus 15 pretty quick, comparatively. I mean, I say that, there we go. Two rolls to get to plus 15, perfect. Go ahead and swap that one on. Check out the stage one rune. Again, I have no six stars. I got a four star rune. Definitely going to go ahead and sell that. I don't keep anything other than five stars, and I'm trying to get to where I don't keep any. Yeah, see, that's got two substats that are flat. We go ahead and sell that. Crit rate resistance on a. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to sell that one too. I don't have a use for that. So you don't want your box to get so full of runes that they're just filling up and they don't have a purpose. So speed, hit percent, this is good, right? It's a swift set. We want to be as fast as possible if we're putting swift on our monsters. So speed is definitely going to be good. Uh, go ahead and see if we can't get two rolls into speed. It's a blue rune, so it's definitely possible to get two rolls into speed. Even if we don't, I'll probably still hang on to it. All right, so we got hit percent. We'll stop at plus six. All right, we got it at plus four speed, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this one up to plus 12. I've got a couple of units I can use this on. We're not going to be setting any land speed records with this, but it's all about small incremental boosts. I'm still focused on my core team, and as I take runes off my core team, I swap them into my other dungeon teams, my other arena teams. Arena's still new enough that you don't have to have the best runes to win. You just need to go in with a plan. Sometimes you get unlucky. <laughs> All right. So this turned out to be a pretty nice rune, I would say, for a five-star blue rune. All right. We got seven speed, 12% hit, 3% crit damage, 6% defense. I'll probably put this on a, I don't know, a assist monster of some type. It'll be good enough to be a placeholder. We have another rune that's got hit percent. HP percent, but it doesn't have speed. I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. I'm trying to get real picky, like I said. Uh, Swift runes, if it doesn't start off with speed, what are the odds I'm going to roll speed? Pretty low. Unless it's a legendary rune, I'm just going to start selling them off. So let's look at Popo. I've been trying to build him up on Blessing because I want him just, uh, you know, big bear, big old fat bear. He wants to eat a lot. So we got this five star rune, slot one. As you can see, it is a pretty decent rune. It's got 6% attack, 16% defense, 4 speed, 3% resistance. The issue, if you look at his base stats, or his uh, current stats with his runes, he's only got 26% hit. I would like that 26% hit to be 85%, because he's already got a low enough skill chance of landing his bleeds that I don't want it getting resisted out by the boss, and I feel like that's one of the reasons I'm losing runs. His HP is only plus 21,000. Uh, you'll see a lot of people have a huge number compared to that, like 50k plus. Uh, but I've got him running speed, HP, defense. So his defense is at 1300, and he's got plus 51 speed. I could definitely increase his speed rune, but as you can see, it's got three flat stats. It does have 15% crit damage, but I'm not running him with crit rate. So there's no point having crit damage on him. So let's check this skill one rune. Like I said, it's a pretty nice rune. I can't see anything I would improve. Uh, going to plus 15 would just give us more flat attack, which his damage isn't based off of attack. If this was a 6-star legendary rune, I would go ahead and take it up to plus 15. But right now, there's no purpose. I've also got a bunch of these white runes, so I'm going to hit sell real quick, and I'm going to sell off all these whites and greens. It's not worth the time of keeping them and accidentally rolling them. This is obviously from rolling, uh, running Blackpool's Tier 1. 
So you guys will be able to see just how much caliente you can get from leveling fodder. Sometimes I forget to turn on the uh, sell off five star runes, and that's how this happens. I bet over half my runes right now are these. Unlike a lot of the other streamers, too, I've really been wanting to buy that $100 uh, rune pack. We may do that on stream here in a second. I've been wanting a set of berserks. Oh, sorry. So if we hit sell, we're going to get 564,000 caliente. We'll go ahead and confirm that. So probably getting pretty close back to where we started. Now then, he's got blessing runes. I don't have anything better than what he's already got there. Preferably a slots, uh, or a six star rune. So we go to slot two. We're gonna change the type to blessing so we don't have to see everything. All right, I got a three star rune I can go ahead and sell. I don't have anything better to run them on. We had a defense rune that I could put on them. Not worth it. I have this speed rune with flat stats. We'll go ahead and sell that. No point in rolling it. Flat stats on this rune. Go ahead and sell that. Right, we're trying to build up. Speed, two flat substats. Sell it again. And defense percentage rune on his blessing rune, which would normally be fine, but it's got flat attack and crit damage, so it doesn't make any sense to keep that either. So again, you want your substats to make sense with your primary stats. So we've already got a plus 15 six star rune here. I've got nine speed on it. I've got 8% attack, 11% crit damage, 5% defense, and 4% hit. This rune would be amazing if I had 11% hit on it, right? Let's look at this other one. We have, It's a six star rune, so I'm going to keep it, even though it's got a flat HP stat because it's still a blessing rune and it's got defense percent with that flat HP. So it's definitely going to fill its role as being a defensive-based rune. Moving on to slot 4. I've got HP% 6-star rune in here. With 5 speed, it's got a flat attack stat, which I would like to change. 18% uh, hit, which is great. I wonder if we can refine this at all. Or enhance, maybe. Alright, I don't have anything to enhance it with. I would like, I really need more hit percentage on Popo. Looking at his slot 5 rune, he has 4% hit is the only stat he really needs on here. The other stats are garbage. This looks like it was a blue 6 star rune. Yeah, it's a rare. The only reason it's on him is because it's a 6 star rune to complete the set. Going to slot 6, we've got defense percent with 4 speed, 17% attack, and then flat HP, flat defense. Has a 5 star rare rune. And we have nothing better. We've got resistance. I'm just going to go ahead and sell those. I don't plan to build anybody on resistance. Uh, it caps out at 85. If I want to use the resistance, I'll probably just use the resistance leader skill. Goblin Engineer. I've started trying to build him out, getting ready for speed runs. So I've got a 5-star attack rune on him, but it was a common rune. I just like the substats on it because they almost landed where they needed to. But as you can see, nothing spectacular here either. Succubus, all plus 12 runes, but I think they're all commons and rares. We got one magic <laughs> and one rare. No six star runes in place. I've got her built attack, crit rate, attack, because I use her in arena to help finish off enemies. She's also an agile, because I need her to go second after my Una. Lich King, he is on the starter set of 6-star runes. I think I've gotten one or two that I've replaced already. So let's take a quick look at these. Like terrible substats for attack runes, right? We've got resistance on there, we've got HP, and we've got hit. There's no point for him to have hit. Go to the next room, we got more hit, more defense, flat attack. Yeah, these runes definitely need to be replaced, but as you can see, I don't have anything to st uh, sub in there that are better. Yeah, <laughs> the runes I have are actually worse. Shocking. Oh, I got a plus 15 six-star speed rune. Yeah, 11% crit rate and 5% crit damage. Maybe I'll have a speed attacker I can put that on, but this is not for the Lich. 
More speed, HP, HP percent on an attack rune with flat stats that needs to be sold. Uh, we get another speed flat. I'm gonna sell that also. And as you guys can see, I'm just trying to keep my box clean as I go. It'll make uh, finding the proper rune down the road easier. Got a heroic attack rune. It's not better than what he's got. So we'll look at this other one I started to roll. So this has got crit rate hit percent and crit damage percent, but it's a hit percent <laughs> HP percent rune. I don't know why I was building this, probably just because it's a five star legendary. I don't recommend building it unless you just have Caliente de Waste. So this is a heroic attack rune with HP percent. I guess I've got two HP percent attack runes that are high tier. I'm going to roll this one just to see if it goes into speed. If it doesn't go into speed, we're going to sell it. So enhance, auto enhance. So it, because it's heroic, it's got the chance to go into speed three times. And even though it's not going to roll into anything else amazing, I didn't pay attention. It went into flat attack. So we'll go ahead and stop this. And I'm, well, let's take it to plus nine and see if we get two speed rolls. If we don't get it on plus six, we'll sell it. All right, we got plus four speed. I'm sure you guys can guess by now speed wins in these games. Even at the highest tier of gameplay, if you can have the perfect speed runes and perfect speed substats, it's still going to win the day. But right now in early game, nobody's got immunity. All right, we got 15% hit. This rune is uh, <laughs> dead to me for the most part. I guess I could use it for a debuffer or an assist hero. So we'll hang on to it for the moment. Like a Medusa, Popo. Uh, mummy, anybody you're using the land debuffs could probably use this. The speed will make them run faster, the hit percent will mean they land their debuffs faster, and HP percent will keep them alive. My Una, I think I've got some runes on her I would like to upgrade. Slot 1, 6 star rune, 24% defense, 5 speed. I'm trying to make her as fast as I can. I got plus 12 on a 5 star heroic rune in slot 2. So I'm going to see if we have any 6-star speed Agile runes. I'm pretty sure we do not, and we don't. So I'm going to go ahead and take this plus 12 up. So Una, I have her going first because she does an attack buff, a defense buff, and she does an energy increase. Energy increase, for anybody that's new, is like an uh, increase of the attack bar. So all your other units can move faster. They don't have to be speedy. They can be built to do damage. Getting lucky on these rolls. So that was really lucky on all three of those sets of rolls from plus 12 up. Still got 6 million mana. Alright, going to slot 3. She's got 9 speed with some other good stats. I like that 11% hit because she's actually got some decent skills to use on her other slots. This is a 6 star rune, so it's also a rare. I don't think we're going to be able to beat it. 9 speed. So these are other, I'm going to sell all these swifts that don't have speed already. Like I said, you're going to be very, very fortunate if you ever roll speed where it doesn't already exist. So why take the chance, right? You're just gambling away one of your rare resources. This plus 12 rune that was magic, I'm going to hang on to just as a slot filler because I've already invested in it. But it's definitely not one I would keep. I would not take it to plus 15. So as we get better runes over time, this will end up getting sold. Moving on to slot 4. Slot 4 is crit rate percent. Because I have her trying to do some cleanup at the same time. This rune has already been rolled to plus 12. So none of the base stats or substats will go up any higher. It is a rare rune. So it could easily be better. I've got 8 speed. This other rare rune has 3 speed as a uh, level 1. The chance of me getting 2 huge rolls into that. Not worth it. I'll save this in case another uh, hero comes along that needs it. We'll move on to slot 5. Another 6 star rare rune. I've got 8 speed for a sub. We've got a rare three speed rune. Nothing else. Has, oh, we got a four. Let's see what this rolls. This might roll higher. So we'll go enhance. And believe it or not, one speed does make a difference. You never know when you're going to run into somebody that is just slightly faster than you are. All right, so we're at seven speed. This could definitely roll higher. Yeah, see, that is a huge speed roll. Now we got a plus 12. And this is what I'm saying, like, don't sell your blue runes because they're blue, right? Don't sell your rare runes. 
give them up to plus six, and if they don't work out, sell them. So that went well. We're going to take this all the way to plus 12 just to get the uh, extra substats. We So if you guys were keeping track, we took her pl uh, tier two rune, or slot two rune up to plus 15. That gave her, I think, 10 or 15 more speed. And this just gave her, I think, f three to four more speed. So I got a feeling she's probably faster than most monsters in this game right now. We'll take a look once we finish the sixth slot. So final verdict on plus 12 Swift Rune is 12 speed, 5% crit damage, 18 defense, and 7% HP. Do we have any enhancements? Nope. So that was definitely worthwhile. Yeah, so plus 4 speed off of that. We'll equip it. We come to the next slot, slot 6, which is a 5 star Swift Rune rare. It's got 3 speed on it, so we'll do a, it's also a hit percentage. We've got 4 speed on this other rune. It's already rolled up to plus 12, so we can't do any better. I'm going to sell this one that's got the flat stat, no speed. And this attack percent rune that has defense substats. Sell that as well. Alright, so on this plus 12 rune, it's got one more speed, but it has two flat substats. We're not going to roll the, we're not going to swap this one out for that one speed. We've already gotten speed in other slots, so we're going to hold what we got. Plus, I like having that hit percentage on our slot 6. So if we look at her primary stats now, she is 203 speed. All right, I'm sure other people have faster monsters, but I haven't seen them. So 203 speed, she should be quicker than most monsters. If you look at her skills, again, her skill 3 is why I built her for my PvP team. Increase allies attack, increase defense for 2 turns, restore 20% of allies energy. That is all we need. That 20% boost should take everybody up and give us first turn. Oop. Came too far out. I've got Arcanist. I just haven't built her yet. Let's go to Storage. Selene. Demon Lord. Shaman. Hell, I think my Spider Queen's missing a rune. We're going to mess with her first. We. Yep. Spider Queen's missing a slot 5 rune. I got a six star rune I could put in there that's got eight speed. So we'll go ahead and equip that. I don't know why I was missing it. <laughs> I've got her built on HP, defense, attack. So apparently I was just throwing random runes on her because I needed her to strip the Colossus. Let me check and make sure her skills are built for that and not farming. Yeah, so she does a bind and she can transfer negative status effects. She can ignore defense on turn one, and she has a 70% chance that goes up to 100% chance on skill three passive to dispel, right? And bosses only, or dungeon bosses only buff themselves, so works out great. And that's it for the runes today. I just want to make a quick video, show you guys my thought process and how I go through kind of building up my units one at a time. And as you saw, I don't sell every rune I take off. I try to take it off of one unit, put it on another unit, and just let it work its way down the chain so I'm not wasting my caliente. If you guys have any more specific questions, let me know. Right, so you see this growth pack. I just got 700,000 and then another 700,000, so that's 1.4 million more uh, Caliente I get. Let's go to the coffer, collect it. Collect that 350, collect the Apex reward, and I'm back up to 7.9 million. So I'm picky about my runes for the most part, as long as they get the speed subsets or whatever I'm looking for, and that's why I've got so much of that uh, resource to use. Don't waste time rolling uh, runes that don't make sense.